Hey everybody, this is uh, Brandon Coker, and I'm following up on a post I put on the Lux forums earlier this week, uh, covering a technique to do a uh, relatively fast, uh, non-destructive cutaway with volume, uh, cross-section cutaway, whatever you want to call this. Uh, but basically, I'm going to focus on how to render this cut face uh, with all of its material properties. Um, and not have to model it and also you can because it's you know non-destructive and fairly fast you can also animate this um, and again no modeling necessary for that uh, so I have a mesh here pulled from the asset site or the asset uh, sharing portion of the site this is Kurt Thurston's BNC connector pretty cool Kurt always has really cool little hardware pieces so I thought this would look nice chopped in half so um, first part of this is pretty much exactly like Ryan Drew's technique uh, we're going to add a gradient here um, this is what's going to be uh, our stencil so I'm going to go ahead and set this effect to stencil and for the input parameter, I'm going to change that to x distance to locator because I know we want to cut on the x-axis here. I want my cut face to be facing x. Um, I'm going to edit the gradient and the value for at the zero point I want to be zero. I'm going to add one more key here and I'm going to change that input is going to be 7 millimeters uh, and that value is going to be 100. Uh, I'll explain where I got that 7 millimeters in just a second. I'm going to change the slope to stepped and close that. Uh, so the 7 millimeters comes uh, from here. I'll show you how I got that. So basically I want to just uh, grab the ruler tool and I know that I want to chop this in half at the zero mark here, so I'm going to measure from 0x uh, on out to the furthest extent of the mesh on that axis, and it's about 7 millimeters. So I'm going to call that 7 millimeters, which is uh, why we put that in our input for the gradient. So next step here in the modeling viewport I'm gonna create a new mesh item uh, I'm gonna use a plane here I'm going to rotate that plane to face the x-axis next I'm gonna size it down don't need it to be huge the only I only need this to be big enough to cover the mesh that I'm cutting into um, this polygon is going to actually become your cut face. So that is large enough. I'm going to take that plane, I'm going to parent it to the texture locator for the gradient which we created. Or, uh, well, the gradient, the locator was created automatically, of course. We're going to parent the plane mesh to that texture locator. And then the last thing we need to do with that plane is just move it out seven millimeters on X and again that coincides with the extent of the gradient which is going to be our cutter and so this is going to ensure that this uh, plane is always at the location of the cut no matter where we move that locator so if we do decide to animate this uh, it'll always be there. We won't have to animate. We want to key two items here. We'll just key the locator. So next thing I want to do is I want to grab that locator and I'm going to move him. Uh, I'll just do it here actually. I'm going to move that seven millimeters on X. So that's going to put uh, that's going to put uh, the extent of our gradient here is going to be cutting into the uh, into the mesh at the uh, at the halfway point now and uh, we can also use that plane as a visual cue here to see 
where our cut's going to occur. So I'm going to jump into the Render tab now. And I made mention of this on the forums. I'll just reiterate it. Um, the This technique does use front projection mapping, so you want to make sure you're happy with your camera position before you render this stencil. And um, once that stencil's rendered, we won't be able to move this without uh, having to re-render the stencil. So just uh, go ahead and get happy with, um, with your view here. Uh, if you're not happy, go ahead and change it. And um, you can see it's already, you know, obviously cutting through the mesh. We're seeing straight through it. Uh, I've just got on this material, or on this mesh rather, I've got a single material assigned. It's called cut. And um, I'm going to jump into this mesh now, and I'm going to 